Welcome to Pilates. My name is Lise and we're going to be doing a 30 minute mat class. So all you'll need at home is a mat and uh, your body. We're going to start with breathing, the very first principle of Pilates, and then we'll go through a series of exercises to basically work your core. So this class will be focused on core and spine strength. You're going to start lying down today. You want to make sure that you place your hips, knees, ankles, and first two toes in line with each other, like a number 11. You're going to lie your body down and just take a moment to find your neutral spine. So there's a space in your lower back and a space in the back of your neck. The crown of the head should be resting gently into the mat. And today we're just going to place the palms of our hands in our belly. So I want you to feel that flatness, that flat dropping of your abdominal wall in the front of your body. In Pilates, we try to feel the front of our body dropping into our spine so that our abdominals remain active. We're going to breathe into the sides and into the back of our body. So take a nice deep breath in down towards the mat in the back of your lungs. And as you exhale, feel the front of your ribs come down and together and draw the belly button down towards your spine. And again, inhale into the back of the lungs. And on the exhale, feel that the center of your body is getting thinner, like the center of an hourglass. Three more like that. We want to use the hands to have a gentle reminder to not extend our diaphragm out. We want to keep everything dropping down. We want to feel that space from the pubic bone to the tailbone pressing towards the floor as we drop and flatten. And one more like that, breathing into the back of our lungs, remembering that we're three-dimensional people. And exhale. We're going to start to warm up the pelvis. Place the palms next to your body. Circling the pelvis, you're going to drop your tailbone, lift your tailbone, drop your belly into the floor. And then move your pelvis to the right. Reach down towards your heels with the tailbone and move the pelvis to the left. And again, back to the center. Now you can do this as quickly or as slowly as you like. Just trying to find a little bit of mobility in our pelvis. And it's almost like circling a clock on our sacrum. So you wanna really feel where on your hip and your pelvis the weight of your body is in this motion. And then we're gonna reverse it and go the other way. So this is just a really gentle way to become aware of the different parts of your body. And to continue your Pilates breathing into the back of your lungs, letting your hips relax as you move around, and letting the abdominal wall drop down and support them. When you're finished, you'll come back to a neutral spine, reset. And now we're gonna do the same thing with our head. Keeping our head on the floor, you're just going to let your chin draw a circle in space. So you want to let the back of your head rest on the floor. Don't try to lift your head off the floor. This is just to find release in your neck and all those muscles that run down into the back of your shoulders and towards your scapula. And when you're finished with about five, that direction will go the other way. You can go as slowly or as quickly as you like. And you can make small or large circles, depending on how you feel. This is just a really great way to sort of get your neck and your head relaxed and get ready for the Pilates work ahead. And we'll try one more that direction. And then when you're ready, allow your body to find your neutral spine and your neutral pelvis. We're going to work just from the belly button to the crown of the head. Take a nice deep breath into the back of your lungs. On the exhale, fold the chin to your chest, soften the ribs, reach the arms long, and just find your upper back. From there, grab the hamstrings, deepen your belly down, and round the shoulders a little bit farther forward, and then release and relax all the way back down. Inhale to begin. And on the exhale, the chest softens, the chin drops, the shoulders roll forward. And you want to find that beautiful upper back curl. Grab the hamstrings, try to deepen the belly down without changing the pelvis. 
and then release and relax. Three more like that. Deep breath into the back of the body and exhale, soften the front of the body. Feel the front of the body dropping down. Grab the hamstrings. See if you can deepen and maybe get a little bit more range of motion, keeping tension out of the neck and release. Two more, inhale to begin and exhale, day from the belly down. So this is a great exercise to just find the upper back without having the shoulders come up, feeling the shoulders roll down the back, feeling the whole body engaged in the shape. And one more time, exhale, breathe, round, deepen, and then roll back down. We're gonna extend our feet slightly and flex them, bringing one leg up. Bracing the core, dropping the ribs, try to switch mid-air and tap the heel. If the heel is a too far range of motion, tap the toe. You also do not have to touch the floor. If you prefer to just go a little bit, that's fine. What we want to try to do is feel the entire abdominal wall supporting your spine in neutral pelvis. So the ribs and the hips are square. The back of the head is resting gently. And you're just letting one leg and the other leg tap the floor as you go. And last time, we're gonna place both feet down, taking the hands behind the head and bringing the elbows forward. We're gonna roll our chin to our chest, drop our belly button down and feel our back widen. From there, you're gonna try to lift the knees to tabletop, round a little bit farther forward, Place the feet down and relax. So this is a slow motion version of a C-crunch. Elbows forward, chin to chest, belly drops, round the back. Bring the legs to tabletop. Place the feet down, relax, and lengthen down. Inhale. On the exhale, widen the scapula. Drop the belly. Feel the chin tuck. Think about the elbows coming down towards the pelvis. Drop the belly, lengthen and stretch. Two more. Now you can leave the elbows forward if you prefer. You don't have to open them. I just like to give myself a little stretch across the pecs when I come down just to feel a little release, but you don't have to. Chin to chest, draw the belly. Round, see if we can stay here and repeat those toe taps. Now, try not to pull on your neck, just support the neck. Feel the shoulders come forward, Feel the belly button drop, and on each tap, you just want to feel a release of the front of your hip. Two more. Last one. Place both feet down and relax. Going into some core and lower back work. You might want to bring your heels a little bit closer to your sit bones. Plant the palms and feel the back of your arm and your forearm resting down. Going into some bridge work. So to prepare for bridge, Drop the belly, tip the pelvis, and just feel the sacrum flatten and widen. And then release back to neutral spine with the sit bones reaching back for the heels. And again, exhale as you scoop and hollow out the abdominals. Inhale as you release to neutral spine. And exhale. You might feel a little crack in your lower back. Sometimes that happens. And release. And one more like that, just to try to feel those lower abdominals working. And we're going to go into a bridge. You have the option of just lifting your hips or peeling your pelvis off. I'm going to peel my pelvis off today. So we're going to tuck the tail between the thighs and begin to peel the spine off the floor one vertebrae at a time till we get to the diagonal from our knees to our ribs. Release the arms to the ceiling and allow them to extend to the ears, no lower. Back to the ceiling, and then allow them to come down with your hips as you try to arrive one vertebrae at a time. And again, inhale, peel the spine off the floor. Press down through the heels and then lengthen the hips up. Allow the arms to come up. Allow them to rotate the shoulders down. Bring them back to the ceiling and allow them to come down with your hips, one vertebrae at a time. Breathe into the back of the lungs, exhale, 
hollow out the abdominals, feel the front of the body drop and the back of your body support. Continue to maintain that connection in the back of your body. Bring the arms back up and try to allow everything to come down. That's the hardest part, all together, I think. And again, scoop out the abs. Feel the back of your body support. Feel the connection from the heels to the hamstrings to the glutes. Allow the arms to rotate, bring them back up, and allow the body to come down. One more time, inhale. We have a little surprise at the end to work the abs just a little more. Draw the belly in. Allow the arms to come to the ears. Bring them back all the way back to the floor. Stabilize your shoulder blades and try to release one leg. Extend it, bend it, place it down, and then the other leg. Extend. Now we try to do this with a quiet spine as quiet as possible in our hips and our shoulder blades, right? So we try to activate the back of our body as we extend. We try not to have too much wiggle jiggle in our body. Obviously, we're moving and shifting our weight from one side to the other. So there's gonna be a shift of balance. But we try to feel that our spine is supported. One more. And then we're going to slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time through the back till you get to the tailbone. Bringing both legs up to tabletop. Find that position where the knees are over the hips and the heels are across from the knees. We're going to go into a version of the hundred. You may leave your legs tabletop. You may straighten them or you may rotate them in Pilates first. Take a nice deep breath in. On the exhale, bring your chin to your chest, round your spine, drop your belly, and then release the arms. Begin to pump the arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. And as you pump the arms, four, five, lengthen the hands away from the body. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and breathe into your back, four, five. Drop the shoulders down, four, five, and press the belly towards the spine, five. You may extend the legs, five, if you want the challenge, and breathe. Pushing something through the floor with the palm of your hands as you go. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. You may lengthen the legs down. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and roll the shoulders forward. Stretch the body. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Let's do one more set. Breathe. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Bend the legs back to tabletop. Extend the arms up. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, round the body forward. Bring one elbow to the floor and one elbow across. Come back to center and lay down. And again, reach the arms forward. Bring one elbow back and one elbow across. Come back to center and lay down. Now we try to do this without twisting in the pelvis. So the rib cage is going to move, but the lower back remains stable. And I'm trying to think about, as I go, keeping the back elbow reaching as much as the front one comes across. So it's not just one direction of the stretch, but rather two directions of the stretch. Let's try one more each side. So we should be starting to feel some warmth in the center of our body as we go. Last time, breathe, twist, center, relax. Grab your legs, we're gonna rock up. We're gonna go into a spine stretch. So allow your legs to be a little wider than your shoulders. Pull your toes back and activate the legs without hyperextending. Draw the belly button back into your spine and extend the arms just below the shoulder level. Take a nice deep breath in through the crown of the head and on the exhale, deepen the belly button back into the waist as you fold your top of your head forward and drop into your lower back as you breathe and then roll up from the sit bones through the middle of the back, through the shoulder blades and the head, inhale. So imagine there's a scoop in the center of your body without affecting the top of the shoulders. 
as you try to pull the abs back at the same time let the head drop down and then roll up so this is not a forward fold hamstring stretch but rather an abdominal pull back as we try to allow the crown of our head to relax down and then roll up try one more like that exhale pull the belly back scoop out the abs deepen and round and roll all the way up if you have any lower back issues or hip issues you may leave your legs if not you may bring them into the center of the body once again feeling the heels connect the toes coming back the belly in the arms wide the shoulders pressed down and sitting nice and tall twisting to one side for three pulses three two one and back to center three two one now think about those shoulder blades as moving yes one as we sit up nice and tall without affecting the tops of our shoulders yeah feeling the energy down through the hips and the tailbone and allowing the middle of your rib cage to move without allowing the legs to move that's the key beautiful good now we're feeling a little bit warm to go into a version of our roll down we're going to bend our legs so our feet are just flat on the floor and grab the hamstrings sitting up nice and tall in the back draw the belly in feel that connection from the crown of the head to the sit bones on the exhale begin to round your spine you may also flex your feet if you prefer you're going to scoop out the lower back lift the pubic bone and breathe into your spine as you roll all the way down allow the arms to come up and rotate to the ears open them wide on the exhale bring your chin to your chest round your spine grab the hamstrings deep in the belly down and roll the body all the way back up to a seated position you may relax your feet inhale at the top find that strong spine on the exhale scoop that lower back under so like we peeled our hips off in bridge we're going to peel our pelvis down to the floor as we get to the bottom arms come up shoulders rotate down make sure you can see your arms out the side of your eyes as you open them and then as they come to your legs your chin comes to your chest you're going to re-grab and you're going to continue to deepen the belly down as we roll up and try to find our neutral spine at the top you may relax your feet inhale exhale tail under wide lower back eye gaze to thighs abdominal sinking down and into the floor inhale as the arms reach overhead open wide exhale as the arms come down drop the belly deep and scoop round hollow and roll up let's see if we can try two more like that inhale so this takes a lot of focus and concentration at least for me to try to really feel that i'm feeling an equal amount of weight on both sides of my body as i roll down and as i come up i try to sink my abdominals back into my spine which obviously as we fatigue gets a little bit more difficult each time and we try to speed up <laughs> i know i do try to get it over with faster not the idea we try to keep a fluid controlled movement as we go deepening rounding rolling arriving beautiful good we're going to go into some spine twists so bringing the legs back up to tabletop or if you feel more comfortable you can keep your feet together and pull your knees back you're going to press your palms down allow the legs to reach to one side as the opposite shoulder presses down now try to flatten the ribs draw the belly down and bring the legs back up inhale and exhale so this is preparing us for our double leg circles so that we're feeling a little stretch and strength across the shoulder blades and a little bit of mobility in our lower back and as we do this we want to maintain a connection of our abdominals the front of our body sinking 
towards the back of the body. So while, yes, we feel this in our spine, we also want to feel our abdominals initiate the movement. Let's add a challenge. So stay to one side, extend the legs, bend the legs, and come back to center. And we'll go to the other side, stay there. Now as you extend the legs, try to drop your ribs and drop your abdominals. Center, and again, reach across, lengthen, Bend and center. And across. Lengthen. Bend. So one of the principles of Pilates is fluidity and control. And we want to make sure that we're not using momentum to generate the effort. But rather control. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Placing the palms right by the pelvis, extending the legs up if you can, if you can't place them wherever they are. You may be in parallel or you may be in Pilates first. Connect your heels either way. Circling the legs, pull the toes to the belly as you inhale. On the exhale, take the legs to the right hip, to the tail, and to the left hip. Inhale, now try to glue those heels together. Draw the belly in. Now, I'm used to doing this with a ball or a circle. So I feel like going back to basics is a challenge. Because you get used to doing something one way, and then you're like, oh wait, I haven't done it that way in a while. And we'll come back to center and reset. We're going to go the opposite direction. So we want to try to stabilize and make the rib cage as quiet as possible. We want to feel the abdominal support and drop into the lower back. And I would say this is probably more of an oval than a circle, but we call them double leg circles because they're both working together. And we have one more. Now, if you're feeling comfortable, we're going to go into a rollover. If you are not comfortable, you may bend your legs, and the option is to do a little reverse crunch. So you may pull the knees back, try to curl the tailbone up, and release the legs to tabletop. That's your version if you are there. If you're not there, you'll try to roll over where we allow the legs to come back over the chest. We press down through the hands to lift the hips up wherever you are. Open the legs. You may flex your feet if you like. You may soften the thighs towards the chest and roll down one vertebrae at a time through the spine till you get back up to neutral pelvis. Close the legs. Inhale. Remember, you have the option of doing a reverse crunch, yeah? That's completely fine. That's still working the abs. And the more control you do with the reverse crunch, the more difficult it is. Actually, I feel like the reverse crunch is harder than this to do well. Flex, soften the thigh bones as close to your chest as possible, and try to peel the body down one vertebrae at a time, we'll reverse the legs, so leave them, leave them apart. Now for me, I know when they're apart, it's hard to maintain evenness horizontally across the legs. So for me, that's my challenge as well. Actually, I think it's all a challenge, but we all have our personal challenges, and that's one for me as we try to do this with control, working that entire core open and flex. Draw the belly in, lift, up, roll, and we'll let maybe a little momentum happen here and rock ourselves up so we can do some mermaid and then finish off with the Pilates push-up. So in this version of mermaid, we're going to place the elbow underneath our armpit, bend our bottom leg, and straighten our top leg. And if your knee does not like being bent that much, you can extend it out. I want you to find a long spine from the heel to the hip to the crown of the head. So I want you to lengthen that body and think about the front of the body flattening towards the back of the body. Pushing in through the elbow, you're going to lift the hip up and lift the arm up. Try to extend it all the way over to the floor. Bring the arm back up to the ceiling and stabilize. On the exhale, you're going to pull the belly in as you look under your armpit. From there, coming back up and then lengthen the crown of the head forward to 
try to find that beautiful long diagonal line. And again, inhale, push down, lift the hips up. On the exhale, continue to stretch forward. Try to lift the hips a little farther as you lengthen. Inhale, come back up and try to find that perfect spine. Exhale, draw the belly up as you try to take the shoulders towards the floor to thread the needle. Bring the arm back up and lengthen down. Let's see if we can do two more. Inhale, stabilize the bottom shoulder as we go, right? So we want to make sure that the bottom part of our body is supporting the top part. You want to use those abdominals to support the spine as you twist. So we're trying to get mobility in our back as well as strength on the underside of the body. One more time. Lift up. And on the exhale, reach all the way over. Draw the belly in. Use those abdominals to hook under. Going back up. Lengthen down. And then lengthen your body to have a seat. You can extend that leg out. And just take a beautiful, lovely side bend. So we want to just breathe. As we extend our torso out over that leg, just try to find that fabulous stretch in our underside body that we just used so well. And then we'll go to the other side. Take a breath if you need it. Reset. So you wanna make sure that that elbow is under the armpit, that bottom leg is bent across from the hip. Try to find that straight line from the heel out through the crown of the head. Draw the belly in. It's always fun to record in this room because the mirror is crooked <laughs> and it's on a diagonal and I always think I'm really crooked so I don't know if I'm straight. Draw the abs in on the exhale, lift. Twist the shoulder towards. Now you may find that as you do this, you have one side that's easier than the other. And again, lift from the underside. Try to feel the front of your abdominals coming towards the back of your body. Try to create space on the underside of your body. Try to twist the shoulders towards the floor, lifting the belly as you go, and then try to elongate your back as you lower. We'll do two more. With control, yeah? So we find that position and we try to get better at it every time. So I know that as we fatigue, we wanna collapse. But instead of collapsing, let's see if maybe we can go farther or do something better. One more time like that, stretch up. Keep lengthening as you stretch over. Coming back up. Use your abdominals to thread. Coming back up and lengthen. And then use the length of your body to come up. Extend that leg out. Find a beautiful side bend. Try to allow your ear to go over the center of your leg and breathe into that stretch. And we're gonna finish up with a version of a Pilates push-up with a hip flexor stretch. So we're gonna come into a child's pose, reaching our arms forward, dropping our head. From here, find a relaxed position and then engage your abdominals. Round your spine up and coming up to a cat stretch. From here, you're gonna allow the hips to come towards the elbows and unfold the upper body. On the exhale, try to lower the body in one unit to the floor. Take a deep breath in, lift the belly, and on the exhale, press the shoulder blades down the back. From here, flex your feet. Lift your belly, lengthen your spine, and reach the heels back in space. So just find that beautiful plank Take a picture of it in your brain for a second. Support that position and then push down through the heels. Lift the hips, dropping the head in line with the arms. And imagine you can stick your buttocks up to the ceiling to get a little bit more stretch. From here, lift both heels into high heel position. On the exhale, bend the knees straight down. Take a deep breath, shoot the right leg forward. Try to find a lovely lunge in your body and then allow the back knee to find the floor. Use your hands to draw your abdominals up and try to find that support where your shoulders come over your hips. Now, if you want more, give a little pressure into your thigh. Try to create a little length 
in your body and just take a little stretch of the sternum and the chin up to the ceiling as we breathe in that position. Take a moment to sink the hips a little lower then allow the hands to come down. Pull the toes back. Find your hamstring stretch. Try to maintain a flat back and then send the hips back a little farther. So see where we can go in this position. This should be good for all the bridges we did. Give our hamstrings a little bit of stretch. And then when you're ready, unfold and come back into child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in. On the exhale, engage the abdominals. Find the front of your body coming towards the back of your body. Allow the hips to come forward towards the elbows and unfold, sometimes you have to adjust, into your diagonal plank. Feel the shoulders press down, feel the elbows come in, and slowly lower towards the floor. Take a deep breath in, lift the belly, and press down through the hands to find that connection. Flex the feet, reach the heels down to the floor as your belly button comes into your spine. And see if you can push the floor away as you lift from the underside of your body. So breathe into that fabulous plank position. Take a moment to be thankful for it. And then press the hips up as the hands go through the floor. Try to let the body drop a little. Try to feel the shoulders press away from the ears and the sit bones reach up to the diagonal to get a little more stretch down the backs of the legs. From here, lift the heels up high. And on the exhale, bend the knees straight down bringing the left leg forward this time. Try to find your lunge. Try to lengthen that back leg down. Square off the hips and shoulders and let the thigh find the floor. Use your hands to bring the body up. Try to find that shoulder over hip connection. You might feel that one side's easier than the other. If you want a little more, you can go ahead and lift your chest. Or if you prefer, just get a little shoulder stretch. Pull the arms down, and then lift the chest. This one's a little bit scarier to find your balance. Bringing the body back up. Hands on either side. Pull those toes back. Send the hips back. Lengthen the spine. Now try to maintain a flat back as much as possible as you fold over your front leg. Breathing into that stretch. Coming back to all fours. Transition to standing. Flex your feet. Push down into the heels. Send the hips up. Find the length of your back. When you're ready, walk the hands back to the legs, softening the knees as much as you need to. You may take a moment to hang and grab your elbows and just relax your spine. Try to keep your weight right through the center of the arches. Let the neck relax. When you're ready, let go of the arms. Lift the belly into your spine. Tuck your head towards your tail. And slowly uncurl your vertebrae one at a time until you arrive to standing. Continuing to let the lower back drop down as the abdominals pull up. When we arrive to a standing position, roll the shoulders back. And on the exhale, reach the arms up. Try to lift your ribs off your hips and find a little bit more length. When you've found that length, keep the spine long, but allow the shoulder blades to roll down. And then free the arms and open wide. And thank you for joining me for 30 Minutes Pilates Core.